Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Litsy, and for today's video, like you can see in the title, this is going to be an all drugstore makeup um get ready with me routine kind of um yeah i have a lot of new products that i haven't used that i'm going to use throughout the video and i also have like some faves already that i've been using for a while that are incorporated in this video and today i'm also going to be showing you guys how i apply loose glitter so it's kind of like loose glitter for beginners um this one is like pretty extra but for the next video maybe i'll do something a little more simple with um loose glitter but yeah guys other than that thank you for taking the time to watch this video so let's just get into it okay guys so if you guys hear the air like or a lot of like air um or noise it's because i finally got like this air thing to go in my window because I, I don't have ac yet but that is why you're gonna hear it it's just so like my phone doesn't overheat because it gets so hot in here and um yes it actually gets really cool in here so i'm wearing this sweater um, this sweater is actually from, it's called Pretty Lovely Official and they sell like makeup artist clothes so you guys should definitely check them out especially like if you're a makeup artist. I think it's really nice to have like black attire because you know makeup artists tend to wear black when they go um, to do people's makeup. So it's really cute and she's super nice and yeah you guys should go support her. So we're going to start off by doing our brows. Um, I have been doing my brows with the pear soap. I'm not really good at it yet. I'm still practicing, but I'm not really gonna explain this step because I'm still practicing. When I finally like master it, then I'll explain it. But I'm not gonna explain it right now because they still don't come out that good. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and just prime our eyes and we're gonna go in with, I don't know what palette yet, but by the time I prime my eyes, I'll probably know. Today, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Beige. Yeah, so today, we're going to be using the Ooh La La palette from ColourPop. I honestly consider ColourPop to be drugstore because it's really inexpensive. And most of their stuff are super affordable. Honestly, I think all of their stuff are super affordable. So we're going to be going in with this. I've been wanting to do like a pink look. So um, we're going to do that. I'm also going to incorporate a glitter like the loose glitters because um, I had like um, a request to do a video with glitter for like beginners and I'm just going to do like a super simple way to just include a loose glitter into your makeup. But first we're going to go in with just this soft core shade right here for a transition color. But yeah, we're going to go in with this color first. I'm just going to use like a super fluffy brush. This is a Morphe brush. But the number is faded, so I don't even know which one it is. I think these palettes are so cute. I honestly collected, I think, most of them. I honestly think I have, um, if not all, at least most of them. And I, I, I think it's so cute to just be like, oh, I want to do a pink look. And you have like a whole palette for pink. Or like, if you want to do like, yeah, or like if you want to do like a whole blue look. Like I have a whole palette for just blue. Like, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool to just have. Okay, guys. So now that we went in with that one, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this super pink one right here. Um, it's called Sandbar. This brush is like weird. It like see you bend it and it like stays. Okay, I'm probably not gonna use this one. I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's a uh, called Goal Getter. It's from the Sugar Rush um brand. It literally looks like a pencil. I hope you can still see. I have to admit, I think ColourPop is probably one of my favorite um, makeup brands because 
everything about them is amazing like they have amazing eyeshadow palettes amazing lipsticks lip glosses um those jelly shadows are so nice um yeah i honestly have to say i think they're one of my favorite makeup brands but i'm gonna have to bring it like super close to my brows That's probably the best it's gonna get. So now guys, just with like a flat brush. Why do these feel so weird? Anyways, just with like a flat brush, I'm gonna grab this shimmer right here. It's called Big Sugar. It's just like a pink shiny, pink um, glittery color. And I'm gonna put that like on half of my lid so just like press it on you're not going to be able to see it that much but I'm honestly just going to use it like as a base for my glitter that I'm going to put on okay guys so once I apply that I'm finally going to go in with the with my glitter so if you didn't know um, along with my lashes I actually do sell like loose glitters um, today I'm gonna go in with this one. It's in Royal. It's a purplish color. You can see. I don't want to like drop it. My mom says that if I keep cracking my fingers, they're gonna go crooked. Um, I don't know if that's a myth or not, but I hope not because I like, like I don't know. I feel like after cracking them, I like relieve my stress or something. So I actually do use this glitter primer. Um, it's from NYX. It's this one. Um, I really like it, but I wouldn't say like it's the best one that I've ever tried because honestly, it's the only one that I've ever tried. But for me, it works really good and I don't really see like... Um, I mean, like I want to try other stuff as well, but I don't really see like a point of switching up on it when it's been working really well for me. So this is the one that I use. If you guys have like a better glitter glue or glitter primer, um, let me know. But this one's really good and it's super inexpensive as well. With a like flattish brush, I'm going with a super small one because I want to have like pretty good like precision, I guess. Um, I'm going to get the glue. And I'm just going to apply it to where I want it. I honestly don't know how far I want it. I'm kind of I'm kind of going to wing this here as well. But I'm going to start from the corner of my eye and bring it up and I press it on but then once I get to the end, I drag it and then apply it. I like doing one eye at a time because obviously like the glue or primer dries. This is like super extra, but I feel like if you're using glitter, why not go like extra because I think glitter is so freaking pretty. And yeah, like why not go? Why not go extra? So then once I apply it to everywhere that I want, um, I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay guys, so now that we applied our glitter, I'm going to grab that dark color that we used, the, the trove color, and I'm just going to apply it again where I had it, but I'm slowly going to bring it to the end of where I have the glitter, and just like kind of press it on there just so it kind of blends in with the color that I had. But for now, I'm going to set this palette aside and I'm going to go ahead and do my the, my face and then we'll finish our eyes a bit later. So for a primer, I do have a lot of drugstore primers, but I just got this one. It's the Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Primer. Um, I really want to try it and since I have the AC and I'm not like sweating in here, I'm going to finally try it. Um... Because I knew like if I didn't have the AC and I tried filming this, 
I was gonna look so oily because it was gonna be like the oil plus my sweat. But we're gonna see. So it does smell a lot like rose. But I think that's such a pretty smell, so I'm not complaining or nothing. And like, it doesn't feel like, even though it's an oil, it doesn't feel too uh, heavy on the skin, which is nice as well. Especially like, I mean, I wouldn't really use an oil right now because I'm not, um, I don't have dry skin. And since it is summer, like, my own skin is going to give my foundation um, oil. But like I said, for like the sake of the video and um, the fact that I have AC with me today, I'm going to try it. So today we're going to try the Milani Screen Queen. I've used this I think like once, but it was when I first got it and then I kind of just like forgot about it. But we're going to give it a try again. Hopefully the color matches. If it doesn't, then I'll see how I can fix it maybe with another foundation. But we're going to try to go in with this one. This is in the shade 330. It's the Golden Beige. And um, Milani has really good products. So I honestly am super excited to try this again. I have used it before, like I said. But I honestly don't remember how I liked it because it was a while ago. So we're going to give this another try. So I'm first going to go with just a flat brush just to apply my foundation and then um, blend it in well with a beauty blender. But for now, just with the brush. I don't really care about blending it very well right now just because I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. But I just want to apply it where I plan where it goes, I guess. And then now with my beauty blender, we're just going to um, blend that out well. And then for concealer, we're going to use the same one that we used to prime our lids. So again, the e.l.f. one. This one is in the shade light beige again. absolutely love this concealer um i think it has like really good coverage and it also blends out like so nicely um yeah so nicely and i don't think it's like super thick i think it's pretty lightweight so i like that about it as well but it's like lightweight but it also has amazing coverage which i love because i do have like dark circles so i do um get pretty like I do like a full coverage concealer. Like when I don't use this one, I use the Tarte Shape Tape one because that one has like amazing, um, amazing coverage as well. But this one is definitely a dupe for it for me. I think it's really nice, really good. Um, I still use the Tarte one, but if like the Tarte one, the Tarte one were to go like discontinued, I guess, um, this would definitely be the one that I would go towards. I have used like other high-end concealers and honestly like from the ones that I've tried I'm not really a big fan um, I've tried the NARS one which people said was really good but I actually didn't really like it that much I don't think it had like that full coverage and um, I do like that full coverage so this one is definitely like a fave for me So after we go and do that, I actually got this air spun um, face powder. Um, I've heard really good things about it. Um, like it's been pretty hyped for a really, really long time. But I just never bought it. And finally I did. So I'm going to use this to sit under my eyes. But we're only going to sit under our eyes right now because I still have one more step. But my eyes crease so fast. Like they're already creased. So I want to hurry up and put this powder. Here. 
I got it in translucent extra coverage because I know they have another one too. First, let me blend this out again. The only thing I don't like about this one, um, like from right now, is that it has like a super strong scent and I don't like that. Like I don't like anything that has a strong scent. I'm like super picky on that. But let's see how it sets. And then I'll make like my final. Okay, next to like bronze up the base, um, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. It's the same concealer that I use, so it's the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. It's just any super darker shade, like that's a super darker shade than my shade. This one is in Deep Cinnamon. And I just put a couple dots. And then some on my forehead. And then I just blend it in with the same beauty blender. I love this one. I think it blends like so nicely. So nicely and so easily. And then my forehead. So the setting powder seems to work pretty well. I just don't like the smell. I think it's, yeah, it has like a really strong scent and I don't like that. But if you guys don't mind like scents like that or scents at all, then like I think you guys would like it. It looks like it worked pretty well, I think. I don't know. I think so. Uh, we're gonna do finish our eyes first. So, with a brush like, like this one, you guys can see it. This is also from that sugar rush place. This one's called Stay Sharp. We're going to apply the darkest pink, well, the, I mean, like the hottest pink right here under our eye. And then I like to blend it in with also with what I have here. Okay, I just put like a shimmer in the, in my inner corner. Um, and I kind of brought it down a bit. It's just like a super dramatic look. But I hope it like gave you an idea on how to use glitter. I mean, you can do like the same thing with like browns and then instead use like a gold glitter. But yeah, I know this is like kind of extra. I'm going to put my lashes off camera and then I'll be back to finish the rest of my face. Okay guys, honestly that was the fastest I've ever applied lashes, like what the heck. We're gonna finish our face now, finally. Um, so for blush, I actually got this new blush, it's from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Mellow Wine. And I'm super excited, I think this blush color is so pretty. Look at that, I did use it once, honestly. And I liked it, but it's like it was like really pigmented, which is amazing um yeah i really like it i only used it once though so let's and it, i use it like um because when i don't wear like a full face of makeup i do do like blush and just like mascara so i did use it like on like a clean face pretty much and it was really pigmented so let's see how it goes on foundation so pretty Oh crap, I think I got too much there. This blush is really pretty. And it was only three bucks, guys. Um, yeah, three dollars for this blush. Good deal, good deal. Anyways, damn. Are my eyes crooked or did, are my lashes crooked? both probably because my face got really dry even though I don't know because I used an oil and I didn't set my whole face with powder 
but it did so we're gonna go in with the milani make it dewy spray hopefully this like goes well with the foundation i don't know if it's maybe the foundation formula doesn't sit well with oils or i did something i don't know but we're gonna use this hopefully it um hydrates my face pretty well oh my god i'm already crying my eyes hopefully that fixes it and then with my mini mini fan i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i was able to recommend some drugstore products that are good but also like not um expensive because honestly drugstore makeup is freaking amazing as well and i think we don't give it enough credit because honestly like some of my favorite products are from drugstore some of my favorite are not from drugstore but like the elf concealer is freaking bomb i have other like products that i got from the drugstore that i didn't get to use in this video but hopefully in other videos i'll get to incorporate them and give you more products from drugstore that are really good um like i said the only thing that i'm not really like good like about is this powder i mean people said it was really good but it's just like the smell for me um it's not like a bad scent or anything it's just i don't like any makeup that has a scent on it i'm like really picky on that because um for some reason like i get headaches like so easily so just like anything that has like a scent is just like kind of like a no for me but it seemed to set my under eye pretty well so i'm pretty sure i'll keep using it because like i said it's not like a scent that's like disgusting or anything it doesn't smell bad so i'll probably keep using it but it probably won't be my go-to just because yeah and i have to see how it does with flashback and everything because the one that i use from tarte does not give me any flashback which is freaking amazing because i was struggling to find one for so long so the tarte one honestly has like saved my life for no flashback but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i was able to give you some recommendations i hope the glitter you know you guys if you're like a glitter beginner i hope this helped in any way at least like maybe give you a glitter glue recommendation and other than that guys um please make sure to check down check the links that i have in my bio to donate and sign petitions for things that are just going on in the world that i think that we should all be aware of and other than that guys i hope you guys have an amazing week and thank you so much for watching this video and yeah that's it like always leave recommendations of products videos or anything down below it really means so much to me and other than that guys thank you for watching this video bye guys stay safe